hello everyone welcome to this video in this video we will see how we can integrate microsoft power virtual agent with omni channel in dynamics 365 omni channel app right so first you have to open the power virtual agent and click on the gear icon to open the transfer agent click on the omni channel then here you have to give your app registration number for your power virtual agent it will open the uh, you know azure active directory where you have to uh, you know uh, register your application so click on the new registration option and when you click on new registration option it will give you to provide the name of the app so click on the new registration and provide a new name let's say pva bot now keep all default options all other options and click register now it will generate an application id and that application id is required for integration so copy this application client id and this is the id which will be required while integrating so paste here and click on next once you click next it will enable microsoft team for your integration so power virtual agent communicates with the omni channel through microsoft teams so click on next now it is trying to enable microsoft teams now you have to choose your correct environment where your omni channel is present i have used my practice environment i have clicked that and it will connect in a short while now it is connected right now we have to configure some more uh, configurations going forward now bot is connected with omni channel now click on the omni channel now we can configure now go go next configuration is go to admin power platform go to resources and application click on the dynamics 365 apps here you will see there is an option called as omni channel for customer service the status is not configured click on manage click ok it will open in another window now here we need to provision the uh, chat application for this omni channel environment right so now click on add environment so this provision is required right now select your correct environment my environment is practice click on next once you click next it will go to the next chat option enable chat enable this chat option from no to yes click next and again for the sms also enable and click the checkbox by checking this box you confirm the uh, terms and conditions click on microsoft teams also yes click on next and click on finish it will load it will set up all the environments all the options for your environment now after some uh, 20 to 15 minutes it will successfully install all of these applications in your environment so that we can seamlessly integrate omni channel with power virtual agent so we have to wait for some time and once it is succeeded click on refresh button at the top now you can see uh, all the items like chat sms social microsoft teams will uh, display as install right so in short while it will display all install right so now i will refresh this yeah, the setup is still progress now you, you can click click refresh so that you can see the status is installed so for uh, for uh, better understanding click on refresh button again to check if all install or not now this is the second configuration that we have done first configuration we have done in power virtual agent next configuration we have to provision the omni channel by installing all of these applications next we have to go to omni channel administrations uh, app model driven app to uh, to configure the bot and uh, to configure the users and queues and work streams okay now first go to bot and the bot you will see whenever the uh, application id has been given this bot is created in the omni service omni channel administration and you will see all the informations that are created automatically the part of the virtual power virtual agent and with the azure application id right so this is the application user and just uh, switch from application user drop down to user summary so that you can see 
other details about the bot now click on the application user drop down and go to user summary right you can also go to queues also to double check okay now queue is important because whenever someone uh, chat with a power virtual agent it should be uh, added to a queue so i have created a support queue you have to also create your support queue or uh, whatever queue billing queue account queue whatever you can create with priority and queue type messaging and you have to add some users including either a human user or power virtual agent user i have added two users here including that default user created by the power virtual agent and if you go here i can i have added another user this user virtual agent legendary bot is already created by default just i have added another sanjay pradhan user here now if you go to the bot open the bot you can also see in the application user section and just shuffle it from application user to user summary to uh, understand more click on users i have associated two queues one is support queue another is demo chat queues so that whenever someone try click transfer agent or uh, give some input to talk with trans uh, also define the uh, role items or routing rules here here we have to define the context variable var scope var underscore scope is the uh, uh, variable that i have added here so from where you get this context variable now let us go to the power virtual agent and here we have to check what are the available uh, context variables that are actually passed from power virtual agent to omni channel whenever someone uh, whenever the topic transfer to agent is triggered now let me go to my environment and let me go to my flow uh, my chatbot i have created click on list and here i will select my chat so this is my chatbot uh, my uh, power virtual agent i have to open that and here you can see uh, when the uh, power virtual agent will open i can see that uh, i have already designed this power virtual agent before okay and uh, here if you go to this if you chat something here it will respond to you according to the logic that has been written in background now what i have written is whenever someone gives data and selects this opportunity status it should transfer agent now you can see at the top view context variable you can see now all these variables context variables are actually passed to omni channel uh, model driven app so that you can uh, configure properly so this ba scope is added here if uh, the transfer is done from bot or chatbot the ba scope will be bot now here we have to create a bot routing rule and the condition we have to give here if the ba scope contains data and whose value is equal to bot then it is a so if it doesn't contain data it is a uh, human agent and if it contains bot so you have to use ba scope equal to bot because we have seen the um, ba scope ba scope is bot so we have to check if the ba scope is bot the request has been transferred from the uh, power virtual agent so that an agent can respond now next is important is creating a chart click on so i have created a chart called as let's chat now and here i have defined the uh, agent name full name select more conversation live chat and the work stream has been associated as soon as you save this this right side code snippet will auto generate right now this code is important because this code will be placed uh, in your uh, custom web page whether it is portal or your web page so that the let's chat uh, button will appear at the bottom right corner of your page this is double three schools try uh, your own uh, window you can see at the right bottom this button is generated as, as i have included the code that has been copied from uh, you know omni channel and posted here 
you can see now I can seamlessly uh, chat with uh, omnichannel agents right now I am chatting with uh, digital bot but whenever I will select opportunity as an option then it will navigate to the customer uh, omnichannel for customer service now when a user will open this omnichannel for customer app then the uh, system will load the omnichannel for customer uh, uh, application to receive notifications it will prepare in a short while it's because you have done so many configurations because of that this omnichannel for customer service app will um, synchronize all of these uh, configurations so that it can receive notifications from power virtual agent whenever someone chat with power, uh, power virtual agent and uh, request to talk with real agent real human agent now it is loaded now it will you will go to the power virtual agent code that has been integrated in double three schools try now i have used double three schools because uh, we can uh, try in here okay now i am just trying to give some value here i am selecting opportunity as status now i have written the logic that whenever someone clicks opportunity status the transfer agent will transfer to agent will trigger now i am expecting a chat here see this is received from board i can accept it because it is escalated from board right now i can accept it and a new chat window will open here now the digital bot is connected to a real user right now i can chat with that uh, you know uh, uh, user using this chat window now whatever i send uh, send to the user using this panel the user will receive this right can you see that there is the user chatting with the uh, real agent let's say user is telling that i need a laptop and laptop price i need then the uh, agent will get this message i need laptop price so uh, agent also can give some more information here regarding the product price whatever so we have connected power virtual agent chat widget with omnichannel real human agent so that the conversation will go on so this conversation will keep going until unless the chat is closed right so there are three four configurations you have to uh, uh, make sure to uh, do that and you have you can also set this uh, you know status of the user is available or busy if you want to create a account or create create a contact uh, with respond to this chat then also you can create so that it will directly create the uh, account or contact in your Dynamics 365 environment. And uh, and furthermore, you can uh, use that account to create opportunities, or uh, that account or contact can be uh, taken part in multiple Dynamics 365 processes. Right? As the user is already existing, it is giving me a uh, duplicate message. If you change it, something else now it is set. Now see, uh, from I am being on the chat with the user. I can create immediate accounts here at the left right share right this actually leverages the communication between uh, public users public uh, public with a omnichannel real human agent right so thank you guys i hope you learned uh, the integration and this is very important in the real world